I would, uh, I want to talk about the bill that we want to vote on right now uh, and uh, why it's so important that we pass it. And, you know, for my part, what I work on is support uh, for our farmers and our ranchers. And that's exactly what we've put in this bill, is help and support for our farmers and ranchers for rural America. And yet, my understanding is that Democrats are objecting to the help and support that we've put in this bill for our farmers and ranchers. Uh, last week, the uh, Department of Homeland Security recognized that agriculture, our supply of food, fiber, and feed, is one of our nation's critical industries. Our country has been blessed with an abundant, affordable, and safe food supply that we rarely stop to notice, but that we depend on every single day, and we certainly depend on at this time with this pandemic. Good news is that our farmers and ranchers, our ag sector, are out there working every day, carrying on this critical work of ensuring that we have the food on our grocery shelves throughout this pandemic. The bad news is that the farm economy, already facing a number of years of declining income, has taken a further nosedive on the account of the coronavirus. And so we have put forward assistance to make sure that we address that. Give, let me just give you one example, though, of the difficulty faced in farm country, in rural America. The cattle industry has lost between 7 and $9 billion over the last two months over the last two months. And that's just one sector of our ag economy. Congress needs to act, and we need to act now to ensure that farmers, ranchers, and rural America, farmers, ranchers, and rural America receive the relief they desperately need. Why would Democrats object to that? Why would they object to that? We included two important provisions to ensure that rural America and our farm and ranch families receive assistance. First, we replenish the Commodity, Corp uh, Commodity Credit Corporation, making sure that the CCC has the funding necessary to carry out the Farm Bill, including the Farm Safety Net, conservation programs, trade programs, as well as emergency and ad hoc programs like the Market Facilitation Program. Second, we increase CCC authority to ensure that we can meet the coronavirus impact on agriculture head on. That makes sense. That's in the bill. They're objecting to it. They're objecting. This is our food supply. This is our food chain. We also included an important provision that enables USDA to provide critical support to ranchers during this market downturn, to ranchers. However, the Senate Democrats are, reject, are objecting to that provision. Congressional Democrat leadership has objected to helping our farmers and ranchers in this relief package. The bill also includes an additional $15.5 billion for the SNAP program, for the Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program for food stamps, to provide nutrition assistance for those affected by this economic downturn. I urge my colleagues to get on board and support our farmers, our ranchers, and our food supply. Support rural America. Quit objecting to rural America. Quit objecting to our farmers and ranchers. We can't let that happen. We've talked about the importance of the bill. It's important for our entire country. And it is certainly important for our farmers and for our ranchers and for the food supply the lowest cost, highest quality food supply that they provide every single American every single day. Thank you, Mr. President.